The tear lipid layer forms a thin film over the mucoaqueous component of the tears. When light is spectrally reflected from the lipid layer surface, interference fringe patterns are visible by virtue of the difference in refractive index between the lipid layer and the underlying layer. The lipid layer pattern can change during the interblink period and vary from blink to blink. It's therefore best viewed dynamically over consecutive blinks. Some clinical tear film imaging instruments have been designed for use in combination with the slit lamp to provide magnification to highlight the lipid layer. Visualisation of the lipid pattern is facilitated by the instrument's wide field cold white light illumination. Lipid layer thickness can be estimated from the patterns visible, which range from thinner meshwork patterns through wave or flow patterns and amorphous patterns to coloured fringe patterns. First order coloured fringes are visible when the lipid layer is approximately 100 nanometers thick. Myobomium gland dysfunction can adversely affect lipid quality and quantity and result in abnormal coloured fringe patterns with rapidly changing bright colours. This is thought to signify clumps of lipid floating amidst little or no lipid cover. Clinically, non-visible or non-confluent lipid layers associated with an increased rate of tear evaporation. Dedicated instruments that provide full-field, dynamic, interferometric imaging are also becoming more widely available in the clinical setting. The lipid layer can also be visualised using topographic instrumentation by focusing slightly anterior to the Purkinje images of the Myers. While this allows for dynamic evaluation over a wide field, imaging is limited to the illuminated areas and not the dark gaps in between. Objective quantification of the lipid layer thickness, albeit over a limited area of the tear film, is also possible with dedicated instrumentation.